Good job with plenty of cheering. Lots of what, Morgan? <laughs> loads and loads of clapping. Excellent. Excellent. Right, we're going to start off our show today talking to you about a few of the subjects close to Morgan's heart here. Now, the first of those two subjects, after Morgan here has finished playing with this fish, is something that happens quite here, here sorry, quite often, <coughs> is that we hear loads of people every day walking around our pools, calling our three gorgeous boys seals. Oh dear. Now, Morgan... What happens to people at Coo Martin that call you seals? <laughs> that is right. Now that is because Morgan here is in fact a sea lion. Now I realise you may not realise the differences between the two. So we're going to help uh, all of you out by pointing out what those differences are. Now the first, if you take a little look at the side of Morgan's head, you may be able to see he has little sticky out external ears. Seals do not have those, they just have very small holes in the side of their head, which indicate where their internal ears are. Now another big difference, Morgan, was that these huge front flippers, that is absolutely right. Seals have much more front flippers in comparison about the size of a human hand. Now because of those, seals and sea lions move very differently from each other across the land. You can see that Morgan here is very tall because he's able to hold himself up on those two front flippers. And also, unlike a seal, Morgan is able to rotate his back flippers underneath himself, meaning that he can walk on all fours. Now, in comparison, a seal with those much smaller front flippers, they are nowhere near as tall as a sea lion. So Morgan, how tall is a seal? Oh, oh. Not very tall at all. And how does a seal walk? Ah! <laughs> on their bellies, my great big fat slugs. Wow, what a lovely seal impression from Morgan. Give yourself a nice big round of applause for that. Excellent stuff right now. The other subject that is very close to Morgan's heart is something to do with seals and sea lions in the wild. And that is, unfortunately, they face a lot of man-made problems such as overfishing and pollution. We are by far the biggest threat to marine life. Not a very nice fact at all. However, there are ways that all of you here today can make sure your rubbish never causes problems for wild animals. And that is simply if you do have a piece of rubbish. Or if you see a piece of rubbish lying around, please guys, follow Morgan's example. He never leaves his rubbish lying around. He always picks it up. And he always puts it in the bin. In the bin! <laughs> Yay! Well done, Morgan. Excellent stuff. And if you can manage it, there are truly no excuses for you and me whatsoever. <coughs> right now, as well as us causing problems for wild seals and sea lions, they do, of course, have wild natural predators too. One of those predators is the orca, otherwise known as the killer whale. I don't know if anyone can guess what the other might be. Morgan here gives us a bit of a clue. You ready, Morgan? What is it? No, guys, please shout it out. <laughs> Does anyone have any guesses? Shark. Oh, come on, guys. You shout a bit louder than that. What is it? It's a sandwich and what a terrifying shark impression, actually. Nice big round of applause. <laughs> yeah, Morgan. Amazing shark impression. Well done, you. Now, there is something the wild sea lions can do, thankfully, you'll be glad to know, to get away from those big scary sharks and killer whales. And this is a special type of swimming called porpoising or bow riding. This is how sea lions in the wild ride the bows of the waves. Now, Morgan, are you ready? Off you go! Lots of cheering for Morgan, please! Yay! Yay. Yay. Lovely there, porpoising from Morgan there. Absolutely fantastic! Yay. It's again down to these huge front flippers. These are what they use to propel themselves through the water. They then use their back flippers as a rudder. Now those front flippers hold an incredible amount of muscle power. They would have to be able to propel them through the water at such great speeds. 
Now those front flippers are so muscly and powerful that Morgan here can quite happily hold his entire body weight. Can't you, Morgan? Off we go. On those feet. Aww. It is a very powerful animal indeed. Now to put that into perspective for you here today, I can tell you that today, Morgan, he weighs 176 kilos. It's about 27 and a half stone. No. Oh dear, a bit embarrassing. Ah. Carry around on those two front flippers. However, believe it or not, Morgan here is not yet fully grown. No, sir, when he is, he could be anything up to twice the size that he is. Now, now a female California sea lion will only grow to around a third of this size. The reason for that size difference being is the boys' job in the wild to protect 